turning to the weather now. We're expecting thousands of people on the Burlington waterfront tonight for the July 3rd fireworks. Absolutely. One of them is NBC 5's first warning chief meteorologist Tyler Jankowski, who's been live on the waterfront for the Rock the Dock fundraiser. You got a great view of the fireworks tonight. Yeah, Brian, Liz, I've been to the fireworks before. Got to say, this is one of the better views. It's not crowded. That's one thing. You go to the main waterfront, it's jam-packed. We're not expecting that level of people here at the Community Sailing Center. But uh, proceeds from the tickets for the Rock the Dock party here go to help the programs that they put on. It's a nonprofit, the Community Sailing Center. So to get kids and really people of all ages on the lake, of course, they need funding for that. So the tickets will help out with that. But you can see the DJ is already playing. People are starting to fill in, and there is also food here, too. Let's show you what's going on with the weather maps. Temperatures are still in the 80s. Burlington, 83. Plattsburgh, 80. Saranac Lake, even 79. And we're not dropping off because the dew points are coming up closer to 60. You'll see on the dew point trend line for the 4th and Friday and Saturday and Sunday, it stays humid as we go forward. Storm Tracker shows a dry scan over most of us. The clouds are starting to increase, but they're high clouds, 20 and 30,000 feet in the sky not going to cause any problems for the fireworks. The showers are still by the St. Lawrence River. So on Futurecast, you'll see the downpours working into northern New York very late tonight. You may see a flash of lightning on the western skyline, but we're not expecting severe weather. Those showers move through the Champlain Valley after midnight especially, and they're mostly gone for the 4th. So we're in great shape for the parades tomorrow morning. Friday looks great as well with sunshine. And then Friday night into Saturday morning, that's when we've got some heavy rain coming through, some thunder as well. So just be prepared for that. Did want to show you the close-up of the lake forecast through this evening. Notice as we go towards fireworks launch time at 930, the wind is still gusting out of the south 30 to 40 miles an hour. So as we've been saying, it's a little tough to really be watching on your boat, especially if it's a smaller boat. For this evening. Tomorrow, less wind behind the front. Waves of only one to two feet on Lake Champlain tomorrow, and the water temperature is pretty close to 70 degrees. So tonight, we've got showers moving through after the fireworks, 60s to about 70. And for tomorrow, the 4th of July, classic summer weather. Uh, low, mid, and even upper 80s, 87 in Burlington. If there's a shower left, it would be in southern Vermont. So here's the five-day forecast. The wettest part of the next couple of days will be Friday night and Saturday morning with downpours. But we do think we mix in some sunshine by Saturday afternoon. Sunday, just a spot shower lingering mid-80s. And by the time Monday rolls around, we've got a high of 87 in a mostly sunny sky. It doesn't turn showery until the mid to late part of next week.